It did not take that beaver long to fix all the work I did yesterday. Dang, I was hoping I cut a big enough hole that it would be harder for him to, uh, to uh, do this, but not. So I guess I'm digging it back out again and I'm probably gonna sit here and wait for it to drain. That's the only way. I can't come tomorrow and then it'll be a week before I get here. And I really wanna put millet out here. I'll look around, maybe I'm better off just letting it stay wet and it would be first of August before I get millet out. It's pushing it. I got brown top, but it doesn't do very good in the wet, even though it does mature faster than the Japanese millet, but I don't have a lot of Japanese millet. You can always buy more, I guess. Hmm. I'm gonna look around a little bit and see what I see. Maybe I'll uh, change my mind. All right, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a risk, at least for me. <laughs> I know mentally the rice thrives in this environment. There's three, four inches of water all out across there. And I can tell that more of it is standing up today than yesterday. And there's even more that's still laid over that I think will probably come back up. So here's what I'm gonna do. I am gonna take the plug out that uh, the beaver put back in for me. I can hear thunder in the background. We're, we're about a 40% chance of rain today, about a 50% chance of rain tomorrow, and then, you know, off and on next week. I'm gonna pull that plug out. It'll probably bring it down just a little bit more. But as I look out through here, there's rice everywhere. This field is full of rice. I don't need any more food in here. <laughs> What's not rice is smart weed. And what this will do is I did have some other kind of grasses and other low-lying stuff that I didn't want. And this water will take care of that stuff for me. So I'm gonna let it draw down a little bit. It probably came down four inches yesterday. I bet if I just pull a little bit of this out, heck, you know what? I'm not gonna do that. I'm If you're gonna go, go all in right i'm not draining any of it i'm gonna leave it be just like this this is perfect rice habitat my thinking was if i drain it down a little bit some of this stuff that's laying over maybe will pop up but i noticed the other day that if i took some of this stuff that was laying down and kind of held it up i mean it it wants to it'll stand up man all we would need is a couple days of good sun maybe a little bit of wind I bet that stuff will pop right up. It's probably still growing. All right, I'm gonna leave it, man. This is how you learn. There is enough rice standing right now that I am not concerned about having enough duck food in here. So I'm gonna leave it be. I'm not gonna drain it, not gonna do nothing. Pretty much means I'm gonna turn around and go home. That's okay. But uh, I really, really wish this showed good enough on the camera. I would walk, I mean, it's all rice through here and this wasn't even growing that much. I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll, I'm going to head back up to the truck. I'll come in from the other side and show you a picture. I can get closer to it through the smart weed. Mm, if the water's not too deep, shouldn't be. But uh, let me uh, spin you around and show you what it looks like from the other side. That's another reason why I'm a little motivated to uh, not drain this. I saw feathers in here yesterday. I just picked two more up. Ducks are coming in here. I will not leave water on this once it starts making seeds because them little suckers will eat me out if I do that. But I'm gonna leave this water. It's actually starting to rain right now anyway, which really just makes this a great place to just kind of chill. But feathers, duck feathers sitting on the water. Um, ducks are frequenting this area, which doesn't surprise me at all they will year round if i leave water on it so yeah i'm gonna leave it be let uh let the rice do its thing because it looks fantastic and uh like i said let's go check it out from the other side all right we're sneaking into the other side of the big hole and as you can see coming in here we got Plenty of smart weed. I actually see some little pink seeds over there. Um, none on this side. Oh, kind of squishy. So I want to try to get up here close. Kind of trying to beat a storm. You probably hear thunder in the background. But uh, 
get up in here and take a look at what this rice looks like from the other side. Uh, and it looks awesome. <laughs> so yeah, I think ooh, it's deep right here. I think my plan of uh, just letting this go, just leave her be, let uh, let the rice and water do its thing. Get up on this dump here, and uh, as you look out across there, there's lots and lots of rice, and some of it's still even laying down. So if that pops up, it's gonna be good. It is gonna be good. And there's there's plenty of food. I don't even think I need to throw any millet in here. I guess maybe, first of August, when I get back in town, maybe I'll look and see what's bare. And I definitely wanna put some back in there where I cleared, just to add some more food. But uh, you know what, for now, it's looking good. It's raining on me, as you can probably tell. So I'm gonna get back. And it's thundering. So I'm gonna go get back in the truck and head back to the house. Um, after today, I think now all I gotta do is wait. And I am not good at that. I am not good at that at all. <laughs> so, um, hey, do me a favor. Right now, go down there, hit the old subscribe button, please. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Just say, you know, hey, knucklehead, hope you're having a good day, whatever. But subscribe. 80% of you still haven't subscribed. So you help me out if I get that uh, subscription up to 1,000. That's what I'm looking for. So thanks for watching. And as always, I'm Bruce, and you're watching Foul Play Outdoors.